What's, What's up, man? How are How you? How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm building this weapons room in my house, and what I'm really looking for today is the sword. Drop a like to this video if you're a fan of Pawn Stars. Hey there, everyone. What's up? And welcome back to another video on Film Vert. Ever since the premiere of History Channel's hit reality show, Pawn Stars, we have seen many jaw-dropping deals that take place on the show. Most of the deals are made by Rick or Corey, but even Chum Lee, the show's comic relief, made some serious cash with his surprisingly good negotiation tactics. Here, we have a look at unforgettable deals made by Chum Lee on Pawn Stars. Before we get to those deals, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Alright, let's check out these deals. Number 5. 1958 Snoopy Comic Book In an episode of Season 9 of Pawn Stars, a lady walked through the doors with a 1958 Snoopy comic, which included a picture drawn by hand by the American cartoonist Charles M. Schulz. The woman who bought the comic book was hoping to sell it for $5,000. However, Chum Lee was not certain about the value of this item or if the hand-drawn picture was actually drawn by Charles M. Schulz. As usual, an expert, Rebecca, was called in to take a look at the item and determine its worth and authenticity. Rebecca declared the book and the drawing as real, but as the drawing was of Lucy, who was a side character in the cartoon, and not of Snoopy. Rebecca put the book's worth at around $3,200 to $3,500. The customer was willing to drop her initial price tag to $3,000 and to even $2,000, but Chumley was not willing to accept giving her more than $1,400 for it, which she eventually agreed and sealed the deal. More like the comic strip. Right. Oh, Lucy, that's cute. Did you draw that? Number four, Vintage Beatles Vinyl Collection. In season 9, a guy came to the gold and silver pawn shop looking to sell his astonishing vintage Beatles vinyl collection, which contained some albums in different variations, and some that only fan club members could get their hands on. First pressings and albums which were printed in a, such a rush that they forgot to add the producer's information on them. The seller got these after more than a decade of collecting and was now willing to sell them for about $26,500 in order to build a new collection. Chumley called in the owner of Moonshine Records, Clint McKean, who put the worth of the records at $30,000. After some back and forth negotiating, Chumley and the seller agreed on $20,000 flat. Number 3. 17th Century Japanese Katana In Season 15 of Pawn Stars, the president of UFC, Dana White, made an appearance on the show and had his eyes on the Japanese katana which were returned to Rick after a restoration process that took place a couple years. Dana voices interest in buying the katana. Chum Lee made an offer to Dana for $30,000 for the beautiful sword, but not only that, Chum Lee convinced Dana to buy some other katanas for an additional $30,000 for his weapons room. I started a little high so I had a room to negotiate, but I think... <laughs> Number 2 fake Gibson mandolin. Even though many of Chum Lee's deals have been successful, Chum Lee has sometimes also been bashed by the Harrisons for making stupid deals. In one episode, Chum Lee was standing behind the counter when a guy walked in with a Gibson mandolin. Despite its obvious pointers of being not authentic and simply fake, Chum Lee couldn't figure it out and ended up spending $1,500 on it even though his purchase limit was only $1,000. A music shop owner who was a friend of Chum Lee broke it down to him and told him that the mandolin was fake and its value was only around a hundred bucks. We're from the early 1930s. The thing that makes this mandolin special is that Gibson made it. Number 1. 1959 Bolin Spacelander Bicycle In one episode of Season 8 of Pawn Stars, a very special bicycle, which was a 1959 Bolin Spacelander bicycle standing outside a random person's house, caught Chum Lee's eyes. Chum Lee stopped to take a look at the bike. The owner of the bike revealed that he received the bicycle as a present for his 10th birthday. Only a handful of these bikes were actually in private possession, while most of them were sitting in museums. The seller asked $20,000 for the bike. 
Chumley offered him only seven grand, to which the seller surprisingly agreed. This purchase of Chumley even impressed Rick and the old man and earned Chumley his first ever $1,000 bonus. I got it for Christmas in 1960. I'm the original owner. Even though the role of Chum Lee on Pawn Stars may be as a comic relief, and he may have made some dumb decisions sometimes, there is no doubt that his negotiation skills are on point. This brings us to the end of our video, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we'll be seeing you soon in the next video. So until then, take care and goodbye.